good day. What we're going to do is a quick uh, walkthrough of the functions of a uh, concrete truck. And uh, I have to unload a little bit, so I'm going to show you how we do this. Here's the barrel where the concrete is in. This is the water uh, reservoir, which is an old diesel tank converted. And that's where we keep the water. It's under the same pressure that the brake system uses. So the water pressure is at 110 PSI. This is the main line going to the tank. We're going to open that up. And you can see the line runs back here. And it splits to a garden hose for the bottom for washing around the back of the truck. And another garden hose at the top for washing in the hopper. And the main line, the fat line here, that goes directly into the hopper. And you can see it right there. It's kind of crudded up with some concrete, but that's for adding whatever water is needed to get the desired slump, which is another word for the desired uh, consistency or thickness of the concrete. We have a uh, remote control, and as you see here on the top, we've got the barrel direction. Right now the barrel is going in a clockwise rotation, which means the concrete is mixing. Anytime the barrel is going in this direction, it's mixing. If it goes opposite in the clockwise position, you will be unloading. You see those chines up there? Those chines are what either draws the product in or draws the product out. Now, under the uh, barrel direction, we have the rabbit and the turtle for the speed of the barrel. I can speed it up, or I can slow it down. Usually when you're mixed and you're going down the highway, you have it turning at a 2 to 3 RPM. That's 2 to 3 revolutions per minute to maintain your mix. And then we have the, uh, the remote for the chute to raise it up. It's a hydraulic system or to lower it down. There we go. And then we have the uh, lock for the chute. Right now I need to unlock it. It's locked right now so it doesn't move around. Now I'm unlocking it because I have to dump some product out. We unlatch it. And then we fold it open. Well, there we go. And then we lock it again. See it's locked. That won't go anywhere. There's a disc brake right on the top here and that's how it locks in the position. We have a hopper button down here. And that raises or lowers that hopper right there. So you can inspect your concrete for its slump consistency. And then we have a freeze button, bottom right hand side here. I can make the barrel stop momentarily. There we go. Now it's stopped. And now I'll get it to go again. There we go. Now what I have to do is I gotta hose down the back of the truck and the chute. Anytime you're gonna pour any concrete, you gotta wet everything down so that concrete doesn't stick to it. So we wet her down, wet the chute down. Let the hopper down. There we go. Put the back of the truck down. Yeah, I know. I got wet on the camera. Okay, got everything wetted down. Put the hose back. Okay, now I'm going to show you the inside of the drum. Climb up the ladder. Always three points of contact. This is the hopper. This is where the product gets loaded into the barrel. And if you look down in here, see the barrel? You can see the concrete down there. I'm gonna draw that concrete out. It's gonna come out here, down the street. And I'm going to make what we call windrows. See those windrows there? Dark gray ones? This is waste product. It's product that either was too much for the customer, or in my case, it was in the barrel for three hours 
and that they lose, like, it's a term they call losing the concrete. They can't work with it anymore, and you can't add water to it anymore. It just takes off. So I had to add a lot of water to it just so it wouldn't harden up in the barrel. Now we're going to make a windrow here. I'm going to drive really slow and I'm pouring it out. This is a quad axle Kenworth. We have two steer axles in the front. And the drum is a uh, 10 meter drum. It's a 10 cubic meter capacity. Alright, let's go in the truck. Do what we gotta do. And of course once we're unloaded of the product, we have to wash that barrel. So right now, as you see, the barrel is turning in a clockwise position. So here's the remote. I'm going to turn, hit this button here, it's going to change the direction. And you're going to see it turn the other way. I'm going to push in the brakes. Put the truck in bull low gear. And watch the chute. As soon as it starts coming out of the chute, I'm going to start inching forward to make my wind roll. Here it comes, and here we go. Once this dries, it gets picked up, it goes through a crusher, and uh, I think that's the crusher right there. And they uh, recycle it. That looks like it's pretty much all that's going to come out. Set the brakes. Let the truck up a little bit to get the barrel cleaned up. And then we go back and start our cleaning. Turn the barrel back in. Now when you're cleaning the truck, you do the same thing as uh, you know, shower yourself. You start at the top and work your way down. Climb up all the way. And close in the mud for the concrete here. Close off the chute. 